right, back on a C20 here. So I actually, unfortunately, made a little mistake when I was putting the valve springs on in the last video. Um, as you can see there, there's the valve seals. There, that's that little tiny rubber piece right past the dampener. That little guy. Um, to use these valve springs, I actually need either a oil splash guard to use those o-rings or to not have to use the oil splash guard with these valves um keeper valve spring keepers i have to use an umbrella seal so um it, so it's actually the night before i plan on actually working on everything so i just wanted to make an intro slash update um so tomorrow I'm going to either have valve springs to put in here or I'll be putting those oil splash guards back on. Either way, I got to disassemble the rocker arms and put the new splash guards on. I won't bore you like the last video of redoing them all over again. I'll just probably have a, a time lapse of the whole thing. So it'll be like 30 seconds. You'll see me undo them and redo them all because I talked about it. I might talk about putting the umbrella seals on or the splash oil splash shields on, but I'm not going to make a big deal of it. So before anything else is done, I got to put those oil splash guards on or the umbrella seals, whichever ones I find. Um, if I don't find the umbrella seals, I will have to use oil splash guards. I put the harmonic balancer, I painted that up. I put that back on with an installer. Um, other than that, there's really nothing I changed. I want to get these valve springs changed. Once I get these valve springs changed, all my hold downs and stuff for my valve covers are dry. The oil cap is dry. I got the rubber grommets in the valve covers and ready to go here are the bolts in the little hold downs so that'll be a real slick real slick looking combo on that uh, nice orange valve cover so those are ready to go so once I get those springs changed and corrected I'll be able to put the valve covers on and once the valve covers are on this puppy's gonna find its way in here and once it finds its way in here, hopefully we can fire it up. Sorry for the noise, I got the heater going. This is what the umbrella seal looks like. Once the valve spring is off, you just put it over the seal, push it down, and then it's good to go. Then I can put my valve spring back on just like it was before. So that's the mistake I made, but I'm gonna get these all changed over. Once I get them changed over, we'll get some valve covers on this thing and get it in the truck. I got the valve covers on the rockers are all adjusted everything is done underneath the valve covers in the intake I put the fuel pump on one more thing we got to do before we put this motor in and that's add the oil so I'm gonna pour five quarts of regular 10w30 in but that's the only thing I have here right now otherwise I would use Rotella t4 10w30 because 
of this stuff. The 10W30 from Rotella has this big word, zinc, in it. So to compensate that, I'm going to use this. Um, it states on here, uh, engines, cars, uh, approximately half bottle to 5.5 ounces. So that's probably going to be this whole thing. Um, heavy duty add one bottle to engine crankcase for every 5.5 quarts of oil capacity I'm just gonna since this is a fresh start motor as well I'm gonna pour this whole thing in there so it's it's all zinc pretty much it's really slimy sticky shit so I'm probably gonna just pour it in my uh, I'm gonna get a funnel first of all and then I'll uh pour some oil in and then pour some of this stuff in and then pour the rest of the oil in. I'll pour it in the oil after I pour some oil in and then pour the oil in. Um, or I'll probably just tip it in the funnel. I don't know. Guys, gotta decide every once in a while, but... Alright, we got the zinc added in there. She's empty. So, gonna button things up here, get the uh, truck moved back, get the forklift out, get the engine on the crane, and get it in the truck. Alright guys, this is gonna be your view for a while. Dad's coming over to help me put the motor in, uh, so it's not just me doing it. But, I'm going to get the transmission lifted up with the tranny jack, cut the mechanics wire that's holding the transmission up, make sure all the wiring and oil pressure lines and all that stuff is out of the way get the forklift up here hook it up then we'll drop it in once it's in i'll put it on the lift do bell housing torque converter motor mount bolts and then i'll start uh, assembling the accessories on the front and then i'm hoping and praying i can get it fired up tonight but we'll see about that so for now i'm gonna get everything ready All right, so it's in, got the motor mount bolts in so it can't go anywhere. We're having a little issue with the transmission lining up with the motor all the way. It seemed like the transmission was really far back, but sure enough, I crawled underneath there and a rubber mount for the transmission was uh, separated from the steel where it bolts to the transmission. So I'll have to get a new one of those, but that's no big deal. I'll just lift that up with a screw jack, slide one in, slide one out. So other than that, it didn't go too bad. So I'm going to get this thing moved forward. I'll get it blocked up on a lift and then I'll get some bell housing bolts in it and the torque converter bolts tightened up and the motor mount bolts tightened up and then we can work on the top half again. Let's get to it. Got it on the lift. It's good to go. I do have to put the starter in. I forgot to mention that. I'll clean that up. It looks like it's been replaced recently. I got some, I did some house cleaning back here. Got the old water pump and the old cam out of here. Get some weight out of here. Uh, I should paint that one alternator bracket, but there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm going to uh, get this thing up in the air. We'll get the bell housing and torque further bolts in and a starter on and hook up the starter wiring. And then from there, we should be able to dress up the top. I gotta do, take care of the back harness. After I get the bell housing bolts in, I gotta lay that down along the back bell housing. So we got some work to do. I'm gonna get, crunching on this work um you'll see some time lapse you'll get some videos and updates here and there but 
for the most part, I'm going to get crunching and get this thing done so I can get you guys, hopefully, to see me fire this thing up. I'm hoping I can fire it up tonight yet, so let's get to it and get this thing done. So I got everything pretty much put together. I got the bell housing, torque converter, everything down there. I uh, started from the back and wor worked my way forward. That's why I was in the engine bay. I connected the distributor, the oil pressure line, the intake manifold line, the vacuum line for the booster, carburetor, worked my way forward. Um, I could start it up right now. It, theoretically, it's ready to go. I just have to put antifreeze in it and put the headers and the spark plugs and the wires on, but I gotta wait with the headers because I will show you why. Um, they need to be finished welded on the regular pipes, but mind you, the welds look bad because I ran out of gas, so don't mind the welds. I'm gonna go over the top of them. Um, you can see I was starting to run out of gas. It started welding like crap right here. I did pretty good for underneath the truck but instead of just putting them on there and trying to fight with welding them underneath the truck i'll clean them up and weld them outside the truck um we ran out of gas but we exchanged a small tank for a big tank and sure enough our hose isn't long enough so i gotta get a longer hose to wait to do that so i'm kind of stuck right now but um i made pretty pretty big gains here so i am not uh by all means not disappointed in my gains today i got the motor in i got everything hooked up i don't think i have antifreeze either so i might drape the spark plug wires over the engine um i might not just to keep them out of my way other than that i am pretty pretty happy 
with where we are today. So, so I'm pretty happy with that progress. But that being said, that's going to be a wrap for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Might be kind of a long video, but oh well. Please like, subscribe, comment. I want to know how I'm doing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one when we get this thing fired up.